I've got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason Why I should ever let you go mm. Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel and today I'm going to fix some uh, fix a dinner for um me for the weekend. I mean, I'm just prepping some food or whatever, and um, I've got these potatoes. I had a lot of potatoes that I needed to use up, and I've got those six pork chops over there. I'm trying real hard to get meats out of my freezers. Um, I did, Lori, I don't, can't remember if I told you or not, but Lori and I, uh, well, Lori mainly cleaned out my two freezers and it was like 10 trash bags of food that I had to throw away. I, Lori said it was probably a thousand, um, dollars worth of food that I lost or whatever. It, it had just been, I stopped buying food a while ago but I didn't realize that it had been so long so but anyway I'm going to do these the potatoes and the the pork chops and so on, on my potatoes I'm going to put I've got this well let me see let me get you back here I got you up so close that I can't get you show you anything here all right, I've got this Kroger. I don't know if y'all have a Kroger near you. If you do, let me know. Comment below. Um, we have Walmart, Kroger, and Foodline. And so anyway, here is, this is pure olive oil. This is not the extra virgin olive oil. This has a higher smoke point on it. So I'm going to put these all over the potatoes. The extra virgin olive oil you're never really supposed to use that for cooking most of the time extra virgin olive oil is for salad dressings and stuff like that i've seen a lot of people do it but i was always told that um extra virgin olive oil has a very low smoke point and it's going to smoke in your and when they're in your oven so all right so i'm going to put I don't know, just a whole bunch. <laughs> because we got the pan. Lori's got the pan putting... Well, it's already over here. I see it now. It's right over here. All right, so there's the oil in here. I'd say two, two or three tablespoons at least. All right, and then let me get you up here so you can see... Or that on it. All right, there's that. All right, and I'm gonna put salt, and this is just regular table salt. Well, no, I think this is um, sea salt. Yeah, this is this one is sea salt, and it's not gonna come out. <sighs> I put it in my salt shaker and other salt shaker, and I didn't realize that it was little littler things but anyway i'm gonna put this in here and then as soon as i get this aisle on here i'm gonna let lori um mix it all up with her hands or whatever she gets she's gonna get the dirty job today <laughs> all right there's the pepper probably i don't know half a teaspoon a teaspoon all right and then i'm gonna use the badia I want to say Badia. Everybody else says Badia. Um, but anyway, this is Badia Sasson Complete or whatever. Badia Complete. And this is not my open one. All right, hold on one second, y'all. I got to find my one that was opened. I thought I had it here. No, this is deal weed. <sighs> yep, here it is. Okay, and I'm just gonna 
with these, you can use whichever um, spices you want. It's, I'm just using these. I think it's what I used the last time that I roasted potatoes. Last time I used, I don't know, it's different from how I'm doing it now. But anyway, so I put the Badia Complete on there. And then I'm going to put this Morton Seasonal. This is the one that has a dash of flavor with Seasonal Seasoned Salt, a delicious blend of salt, spices, and a hint of chili pepper. And so I'm just going to put this on. Put as much as you want. I'm probably going to use uh, a teaspoon on here. All right. And... I'm going to hand this bowl to Lori and let her mix it out. And then we're going to put them in the pan. The pan's right over here. And um, put them on the pan and then put onions out on top of them and cook them like that. And I'm going to try to fix some asparagus. I, what I was going to tell you was we have a Kroger and a Food Line and Walmart here. Well, Food Line's got their asparagus on sale, $1.49 a pound this week. And so I went, well, I didn't go. Lori did and got me five pounds. And so I really want some asparagus to go with this dish. So like I said, I've got six pork chops and these are bone-in pork chops. I'm going to use a can of cream of celery while well, I'm sitting here talking to you and you can't even see. I'm going to use a can of cream of celery soup, a can of cream of mushroom soup, and then I've got a jar of mushrooms, pieces and stems, um, or whatever, and so I'm going to mix all these together and put it on my pork chops, and there's the Lois turning them over. Wow, you did, it, you did it like I did. I just did it that day. I mean, I loved them like that. All right, y'all. So let me get off of here and I'll bring you back. Like I said, here's the onions. Here's the bowl of onions. And we're going to put these on the potatoes after they're all spread out. Wow, Lois doing such a good job. I'm so impressed. All right, y'all. I'll bring you back. Okay, y'all, I wanted to bring you back and show you. Here's the potatoes. This pan is totally filled up with potatoes, and they're all, if you can see, they're all down on the belly, <laughs> on their belly. They're all on their belly. And then we put um, the onions. She put the onions in the rest of the olive oil after she had mixed all the, up these up and um put them on top of the potatoes. Lori is Lori would be a good cook. She could really help me help me, but she's leaving me. I don't want her to leave me. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, I'm back. All right, so I'm I have got 2 pounds of asparagus here and I've cut them up and I've got oil on them. I'm going to do the same thing with this asparagus that I did with the potatoes. I'm going to put some of the Badia Complete on here. All right, just a little bit, not even a half a teaspoon on that. And then I'm going to put um, the Morton Seasonal on it. Oh, shoot. Wow, if I hadn't that top when you pull that top off it doesn't have it one of those things on it that you where you sprinkle it just goes to the oh shit. now it won't go back on good there it is all right so all right so i'm gonna put just a little bit on here and then my favorite thing my favorite thing is I'm going to put this grated Parmesan cheese on here. That is my favorite. I can I can handle this kind of cheese. And I always usually put right much on here. And then I take my bowl. And y'all can't see me, but let me show you if I can zoom out some. I take my bowl and I have 
a handle right here. Some of you won't have that, but I just take my bowl and, and shake it up and down like this, and the oil gets on it, and the, the spices get on it, and the Parmesan cheese, and then pour it on the, I have the little pan right here. Lori said, yeah, Lori brought them in here, and they all fit on it. And so I'm going to let her pour these on here. Might need some more Parmesan. You think so? Yeah, I'd put a little bit more on there. All right. So I'm going to put some more Parmesan. More is better when it comes yeah. to Parmesan. <laughs> Lori uses real Parmesan. No, I couldn't stand that. Y'all know I have, I'm not a real cheese person. All right. I think it'll be enough. All right. So I'm going to let Lori put this on the pan. And while I've got y'all here, I want to ask you this. All right, this is the ends of the asparagus that I cut off. Lori said she had seen people, I cut the ends off so that all the ends are like soft now. And Lori said she had seen people cut these up and put them in um, frittatas. You know how I love to make a frittata or whatever, or an omelet or something like that. Um, if y'all know of any other recipes that I'm wondering, do you boil these or how would you, you know, these are kind of, these are harder than the regular asparagus. So what would you do to get these soft where you could eat them? Uh, I don't think you'd air fry them. I guess I could pressure cook them for a minute. Without, see, I've got three more pounds left because we just cooked two. The first pound, I threw these things away. I didn't think about it or whatever. All right, so I'm going to keep, get a baggie, put these in, and then the other three pounds, I'll um, do that. And then I'll put them in my pressure cooker for a minute and see how they do. And maybe I'll have a, another way to fix asparagus spears or something. All right, bring y'all back. Okay, y'all. All right, so here's my bowl of soup. I've got one can of cream of celery in here, one can of um, cream of mushroom. I'm going to put in one can of milk. This is whole milk. Um, I'm putting that in here, and then I've got one eight-ounce can of mushrooms, pieces, and stems. I'm going to put those in here. All right, and then I'm going to mix all this up really well. I'll let, I'll let um, her do that. I'll put the salt and pepper on the pork chops. All right, so I've got these six pork chops. I think y'all can see. Yeah, there, there you go. And I'm, I'm not one on for spices on my meats. I really don't like them. I know Lori does, but I don't. I just like salt and pepper. So that's all I'm going to put on here is salt and pepper. And, of course, when I put the soup on, it's going to all come off anyway, so I probably just shouldn't even do that way till I get the soup on. All right, now, so there's all this. Uh, Lori stirred all that up, and I'm going to pour this on the mushrooms. And my oven is set for 400, and that was 400 for the, for the potatoes, the asparagus, and these pork chops. All right. All right, now let me put these, I'll spread this all out on these um, pork chops. Now this uh, gravy, I mean gravy, this soup, the cream of celery and the cream of mushroom, as this cooks, these are going to cook for an hour at least, maybe um, an hour and 15 minutes, but I'm hoping like an hour that they'll be done, and this soup is going to come out like a gravy and if you fix mashed potatoes this is wonderful on mashed potatoes but I'm not I wanted to and I don't know I just didn't really think about it I've got so many potatoes that I've got to use I'm just scared I'm going to 
I'm trying to use everything. I had two. I think the one bag in there is a 15 pound. I think I've got one 15 pound in there, and then I had a 10 pound. So the 10 pound is gone uh, now. Use that for the for the, um, a couple other dishes that I had. So, all right now. Oh, I gotta put the salt and pepper on here. All right, so let me put the salt. All right, just put as many as you want, as much as you want of that. That's to your, the salt and pepper is to your liking. And then I'm going to just sprinkle the same way for pepper. This is coarse ground black pepper. All right, there's that. And then right here, I have got a, this is eight ounces of Kerrygold butter. All right, and I'm just going to, you wanna put pats of butter on the top of this. So I usually do six pats, which will be perfect, which really that's one, two, three, four, I guess about four tablespoons of butter for the top. All right. Now this is going to get aluminum foil put on it and, um, put in the oven like I said for about an hour all right so I'll bring you back okay y'all I'm back all right so here is my plate um, here's my pork chops I've got mushrooms on it and oh my gosh I wish I'd have made some mashed potatoes now this would have been so good on the mashed potatoes and here's my potatoes but they're not mashed <laughs> and here's my asparagus right here and I want to take a bite of this and I'm, it's just so easy for me to pick it up with my fingers mm -mm -mm. all right now I've got a cup This is not as tender as it usually is. I don't know why. I don't usually put aluminum foil on it, and I did today, and that may be why it's not as tender, and my plate is turning all around. Usually, you don't even have to have a knife to cut this, but I do today. All right, there's my piece of pork chop with a piece of mushroom. I don't know. It's not as tender as it usually is. All right, they cooked for about an hour and 10 minutes, and I probably should have Put it on 350, 350 and let them cook for um, about an hour and a half. Or, I don't know, they're just not as good as they normally are. But, let me try these potatoes. Here's the bowl of potatoes, by the way. Two pounds of asparagus doesn't make anything. I'm telling you. All right. <laughs> Here's the bowl of asparagus. And she got some. And I got some. And that was two pounds. So that is not very much. I'm going back to Foodline. I'm going to go 
Monday and I'm going to get five more pounds of asparagus because I absolutely love roasted asparagus. Mm-mm-mm. These potatoes are awesome, y'all. You have got to try this and cook them with the onions. The onions on top of the potatoes just gives it such a good flavor. All right, y'all. So here is my dinner. Mm. And so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram. And also look below for links to different things that I use in my kitchen that you can purchase at Amazon. And I hope you have a good weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. I've got this feeling. I'm feeling you could be the one. I see no reason.